Hello everyone, I am so much welcome to today's tutorial and I still remain your show making made easy to talk. Odurole Mojibola. Today I am going to be showing us how I created these particular straps and as, as well as how I created my beautiful and unique back sander. Now if you are watching my channel for the first time, all I do is make shoe making as simple as possible and then um, also ignite your passion for creativity with or without a shoeless yes so don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell now let's go right into today's class sit back and I'll be right back. so like I said I'm gonna be showing us how I created that front strap now the first thing you need is of course your leather this is actually like a glittering leather that I bought is actually two centimeter wide and then um, i work with respect to the length that i need here which is about eight inches so what i did was measure eight inches i think this is a bit longer than eight inches then i bought this particular cord this is actually an already made cord so it means you can actually buy an already made cord you can actually create a cord yourself i've taught us how to create code right on this channel so you can create the cord yourself or you buy an already made cord like this so after creating this i line it and then stitch it so what i'm going to do next is i am going to be aligning this on top of this so i've already cut this it's going to be i need just eight inches long so this is going to be on top of it this way that's what i'm going to be doing now this is where i'm going to be making use of my glue my shoe glue i'm going to be using it for the placement so don't forget now this is the way i'm going to place it this is the side i apply the glue and then i'm going to turn this like this and begin to place right on top of it now i didn't want to place it put up use i am um, put my glue here just because I don't want it to turn this particular leather into something else. If you have used this shoe, shoe glue before, you know the different kind of things it naturally does. It makes your leather very thick, unnecessarily. And since I don't need that, I'm just going to systematically go ahead and place it on it. So you're going to keep doing that until you get through. So this is what we have after we have added the cord on the edges of our strap. So you can see what the inner part looks like. So what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be lasting it. So for the benefit of those who would love to learn how to last, I'm going to be showing you. Now, anytime you have a kind of width that is as small as this, if you consider this width, you find out that it's about three centimeter wide. It's about three centimeter wide. So what you do is you go ahead and place your fingers for those who are always been in my channel you know i always try to use my fingers because i know it's always readily available for you so with your finger at this point this particular you can see that i told is three centimeter wide if you are not careful if you don't position it well the toe the smallest toe of the foot will be coming out so this is what you should do i'm going to be using this part of my hand this part of my finger this side i'm going to take it down this way so I'm going to mark it there. Then I'm going to also come to this particular side and also do the same thing. So that is where my lasting or my positioning is going to start from. I hope that's fine. Now this is what it will look like like this. 
and also come from here with this it will cover your biggest toe and also cover the smallest toe very well if your intention is to use any strap that has three centimeter width at the front or toe part of your design ensure that you use this particular placement it will work like magic it will definitely cover the smallest toe perfectly well and also it will be holding the foot perfectly well at the toe part so let's go ahead and then um, use this with what i have here this is this and this is this so i'm going to just go ahead and place my last on top of this so placing i'm going to be placing my strap right on top of it if you don't have a shoe last you can decide to actually make use of your foot yes you can make use of your foot if you are creating you are using a flat sole or a wedge sole for example you can actually use your foot to last it because your wedge sole already has a shape your flat sole does not really have a shape it's just flat so you can actually use it and it will still give you a very perfect result so you are going to consider what we mark here that's where this will start and what we mark here that is where this will also start i'm sure you can see this apply your contact cement adhesive and last to suit the size you want now this is actually like, my last is size 39 and it works perfectly for size 39 if i'm going to be using it to last size 40 all i need to do is push it forward a little bit like about one centimeter forward and then i'll just go ahead and last and it will be perfect for the size i want to work with so you can see what i have right here for the second leg of course you don't have to go through that route again just place it on top of it this way and mark them out i'm going to definitely do that strategically so that i don't have pain all over my insole please you can use you know the shoe making marker so do the same thing on this side as well please be systematic about it systematic about it this is going to be here so i have these major points i have this point i don't know what happened to the first point but let me check once again make sure that this aligns with themselves so i have this right here so i'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing apply your contact cement adhesive and then also use your last or you use your foot if you have a wooden last please go ahead and use it if you don't have a wooden last please use your feet it will do a perfect job for you as long as it's yours so if it's not yours it may be a bad idea to actually use your foot because it may not size the person if it's not using your size but then it's a way you can still use your size your leg to, to to still last some other sizes aside this i'm so i'm sure those in my in my beginners and intermediate class should be able to comprehend that so you can see what i have here so it's just the same process now let's go to the back pattern and let me show you what i did so for fixing the buckle i think i've taught us severally don't forget the length of this is actually 13 inches and i folded about one inch out of it right here and punched so insert it like that into your buckle i decide to actually use this particular style so you can use it as well there are so many ways in which you can actually fix your buckle but this is one way you can actually do that so i'm going to punch right here i don't like my rivet showing outside so i'm going to punch right in there put in my rivet and use it to hold it down right there so that's all about the buckle now this is what i'm going to be using as my back pattern i know somebody is already wondering she's not going to show us i'm going to show you now but it's going to be a quick one this is what you should do if you want to create that back pattern get a cardboard get a cardboard you are going to be folding your cardboard definitely this way like i said it's going to be a very short one fold it this way then pick up your ruler make sure that by the time you fold this side is as wide as nine centimeter so that's quite important make sure that this side is as you can see this is as um you can see that it's as wide as um, nine centimeter so on this particular side i need like eight centimeter on this side so just go ahead and then measure eight centimeter here 
understand go move forward as well and measure your eight centimeter as well so join them together here make sure that you stop at nine centimeter i mean this side to this side has to be nine so but make sure that you are using that your eight this is it i'm sure you can see what i have right here if i measure this side too i have my nine let me check is it up to nine wow i didn't really fold this properly so you can see what i have right here now what am i going to do next this is what you are going to do get something to connect from here to here if you want to use your hand use your hand but i'm going to connect it this way can you see you can get something like a cuff of jet to connect it the next thing is extend if you want it to like this side extend by like one centimeter extend one centimeter as you are increasing it make this 1.5 when you get to this side use two so that all of the shapes won't be the same thing all through so i don't know if you can see what this look like so what do you do next call this out also cut this out so you can see what this is right here you can see no magic attached to this because i find that some people say hey she does not teach us everything on, on on our channel i do as much as possible it's just that you overlook a lot of the things i teach you that's why you'll find out that some of them you are missing out on them so you can see what i have this is what i use as my back pattern so when you want to attach this strap at the back make sure you don't attach at the center move it a little bit away from the center so that you know that the long part is going to be for the right leg and then um, now let's say this is my right leg this is my right leg when i want to fix my 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 strap at the back this small one at the back i will make sure that i move it towards this side so that this one will be longer this side is a bit long it may not be as much as this side so just position it in such a way that it's not outrightly at the center and if you want it to be at the center it's all fine you can see what i have i'm sure you can see what this looks like so there's nothing special about this so let's go right into lasting into lasting it so what am i going to do now how do i know where to last measure from this edge to this edge about 6.5 centimeter so place it on the heel part from here to here is six and a half centimeters so i'm going to just try to draw a line just to signify where to use be careful So from what I have here, this is going to be my starting point. This is what it means. By the time I insert this into this particular one and I pick up this, if you look at this too, you find out that if I put it together, can you see that one side is longer? Can you see that one side is longer than the other? So it may be at the same spot, but just make sure that you have enough to last your footwear. So for this, I'm going to be using where I mark here as a yardstick. Now, this is for those who don't have a shoe last and you still want to make use of this. So just make sure measure six and a half. This particular sole is actually size 39, size 39, 40. So see, this is going to be here. You can see what we mark. So it's going to go upwards. Please, it's not coming down. Don't put it under it. You are putting it right on top. So make sure it's right on top. Apply your contact cement adhesive. And then you are good to go. Can you see this is not at the center? So adjust and make sure it is at the center. Or else it will look like a premium rubbish shoe. May we not produce a premium rubbish. So you have to take care of that. Attend to that. You can see what it looks like. And then um, my buckle. Don't forget this is my buckle. I can't place this here because this um, is not for this particular side. So I'm going to pick up the second one because i need the chain to stand like this so it's going to be on this side so let's move insert this gently so let me just place it down insert let it come right here hey. 
so then you go ahead you can use this side actually just make sure you can nail this point down because you want to be sure of what you are positioning but then this side is not a perfect um, it's not a perfect circumference of our ankle so you need to be careful it's not everybody's ankle that is um, that has this kind of circumference as much as that you understand or you know so please work on that so basically you already know where to place it just make sure that this is centralized here and then just follow it follow it just gently like that to actually bottom to last it rather so you can see what it look like oh yes you can now see what our final product look like all i did was just go ahead and bottom it of course it's more like a flat so but with about two to three centimeter you know heel platform so if you're watching my channel for the first time ensure you subscribe to this channel press the notification bell so that each time i upload a video you will be notified i need you to know that i have a lot of courses if you would like to take your training or your learning to another level so please let me know in the comment section if you have any question as regards what we have created today thank you so much i will see you next time bye